Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Mandy from Hope Designs and I'm gonna do a little eight inch simple level one bloom. I am trying to bond with my Yeho and get a little bit more um, comfortable with how it blows blooms out. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with it, I'll show it to you in a second and I do have a link to the Yeho and below. And it will also be in my Amazon shop. I'm working on modifying all those playlists and all that. But it works well. Um, I just have some control issues with how it blows blooms out. So I kind of have to find my comfort level with it, just like you would anything else, um, so that I can feel good about how, how to use it. Some people use it like champs. And I have used it before. In fact, when I first bought it, I have a video um, way back there somewhere where I compared it to the smallest blower, which I use a lot on small substrates, but I compared it on a small surface. So maybe that comparison is kind of <clears throat> not ideal. But anyway, I like it. Um, I know a lot of people who do blooms love using it. I have way too much pillow paint here. Yikes. It was taking so long to come out. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Anyway, way too much. So I'm just gonna help it to the edge. Since I have so much, might as well, feel like I'm finger painting. Um, but anyway, I need to become more comfortable with using it. And part of my hang up with it is it blows really well, but it blows down into the pillow because it's very powerful. So this is what it looks like for those of you who don't ha have one or haven't seen one. This is the blowing area. So it's kind of like a small blow dryer. I use it on low, I think. And um, it does work well. I'm just trying to pop some bubbles without being super annoying. Because I just moved all that around. But anyway, I'm going to play around with some of the two of the new colors in the jelly bean set. Let me get a toothpick. I thought I had one. Oh, I do. It's previously been used. But I'm also going to use up a little bit of paint that I had that really needs to be used up or thrown out. So um, that's why I'm using a kind of a cheaper canvas is I'm not sure <laughs> how well I'm going to use how, or how well I'm going to do with it. This black is golden carbon black um, fluid. And it's a little thick because it's been mixed up for a little bit. So I thinned it down with a little bit of a, a Joe Sonia and water. And I just spilled some over here. <clears throat> I use a lot of color, so if you're seeing huge puddles compared to what you're used to. That's just me. Um, I'm also going to use, this is the color I need to get rid of because I have such a little amount left. Um, but it's it was also the one that was really thick. So this is Australian gum blue gum. So I'm kind of spreading it out a little bit just because it, it was kind of thick, but I'm basically just using it so I can use it up. <clears throat> Alrighty, and then there we go. Put my little makeup brushy thing in some water so I can clean it off. And this here is Chantilly Lace, which is a prism pour color. It's gorgeous. So I'm gonna actually kind of sprinkle that one in here. And I might sprinkle it in between another layer, but maybe not. Sometimes I overdo it. And then, I'm gonna do, which one is this again? 
I love this one. This is one of the new colors. This is called Tropic Blue. I'm not sure if you can see how gorgeous it is. It is super beautiful. Whoa, I'm just very sloppy today. And I want a lot of it because I want it to show. <clears throat> Ooh, what a pretty color. Hope everybody's having a good week. And this is Color Art Paints Gray. If you saw um, the swipe I did over the weekend, you would have seen that color in action. It is so beautiful. I'm a fan of a Paints Gray color uh, myself. I always like it when it's got a lot of blue in it. So this color is perfect for me. I really threw it in here because for one, I like it, and for two, I thought it would create some good contrast with those light colors. <clears throat> and let me clean this off and cover this up. And then we're gonna polish it off with some Fairy Wings, which is another one of the new colors, one of my favorites. I think I probably say that about all of the colors. And it is true. So, I especially think that that is like a perfect name for this color too. It's like I don't want to leave a tiny bit left in here. I also don't want to completely overpower the other colors either. So I don't know. Let's see. I don't know why I'm so messy today. I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use it out here. It's like it's at the point where I'm going to need a new batch mixed up anyway, so I might as well just use it. I suppose I could have just mixed up a new batch while I had it in there, huh? But in case my Yeho goes bananas, it'll make sure we have plenty of color. All right, we're going to use a bright aqua green cell activator. If you saw the last live, um, I used that and I really liked it, especially with a tiny dab of black underneath it. So, there we go. It's not as tiny as I had really planned. And then I'm gonna cover up this color. Trying to keep them from losing their freshness as often. All right, so this is an Amsterdam cell activator. And um, from the people who have succeeded with using the Yeho, I noticed that they use more cell activator than I might typically use. Maybe because of how kind of forceful it is. So if I use too much, that's kind of my logic. <clears throat> but what I'm gonna to try to do is help it along a little. Uh, no, I'm not. Maybe I should pop a couple of bubbles. If you really wanna be successful with it. So might as well practice with you guys, right? Okay, I feel like this angle is kind of funky, but all right. It's loud, so I'm sorry. So go up high until you see it moving. Okay, so this is where I struggle with it because it does really well, but I don't like that. So rather than continuing to let it pit down to the bottom. I'm gonna to try to get some of this myself. Um, or with a turkey baster, let's start that. 
I went down too low. I like a turkey baster better than a straw. However, it is pretty powerful, so you do get a lot <laughs> of action, so you have to be careful with the book. So all I'm doing now while this is kind of coming back, and this is my main issue with the Yeeho, is it does this and that's what I'm trying to practice is to, maybe you can't see what I'm talking about. This right here. It does this pretty easily and I'm trying to get better at how I blow it to avoid that. I'm going to blow part of this out myself, so pardon my head. Okay. It's going to be a little off-center apparently, huh? not quite collecting back here like I would like. Kind of wondering if I shouldn't try to embellish that part. But I like Jody's embellishments, but I don't like them when I do them. And there's a big nasty thing of some sort over here. Like a paint booger or something. But I do think I will try to embellish a little bit. Um, maybe with a toothpick or something of this where nothing's happening really quick. And I'm losing a lot of time while I'm over here goofing off. So let me try to do that. It may not be enough without a skewer or something. Where's Jody? I need her to come over here and fix my painting. Help Jody, SOS. And then, let's see. And then, this can go here. I have no idea what I'm doing. This can go here. I'm also cleaning my toothpick with my finger, which is probably not ideal. There's some parts of this that I like. Like this part. I'm too heavy handed for swirlies. really 
part of me wants to try to get a hold of this, but I'm afraid I'm going to make it worse. This part's kind of goofy. I'm not sure if that was helpful or not. We'll, we'll find out. I kind of think I better go ahead and spin it. Spin, spin. I like the colors. I think we definitely broke the surface tension where there was too much cell activator, so let's go for it. Hopefully my camera didn't go crazy out of focus. But the whole painting's not in the camera. Look at all that pillow I had on there. Good grief. I didn't even try to recenter the middle. Oops. It's a little late for that now. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. Look, I did the Jody thing. Hers looks better. I'm going to have to buy some skewers. But it definitely did help some parts that I didn't like the blowout. So yay, Jody. I still have too much paint on here. So yay, Jody. You are still far better at this than I am, my friend. I always forget about it too, and then I'll be like, I really hate this one part, and I'm like, why didn't I do the Jody thing? Okay, I don't hate this. <laughs> can can y'all see how bad my curly cues are? Let me show you. Like they lack structure because I used a toothpick. So I thought about using this drink stirry thingy I have, but it has an epoxy on it. Whoa. And it would have been almost too thick. So I think I'm just gonna get some thicker skewers, but I still think it distracts a little bit from what was going on and breaking up that part in the middle helped a little. Um, there are some places <laughs> right here. It's a little, you know, candy landish, but I like it. I love the colors. I love the color combination. I love the bright aqua green cell activator. Feels like we still have a little bit too much paint. So let's just make sure. But that's why I wanted to do some of this practicing on like a level one canvas because I won't be that offended if it's not perfect, and um, I'll take a few more risks if I know it's not, you know, wood round or something that's a lot more expensive. So I bought, um, just popping bubbles, I bought a little value pack from Blick. Uh, I will say, I used to buy those from Michaels, and since they're pretty cheap with the coupons these days, unless they're like mega on sale, they're about the same <clears throat> as they are with Blick. And I like the quality of the level ones from Blick a little bit better. The back is better put together, and um, they just seem like they're in a lot better shape. So for what it's worth, if you're gonna order from there anyway. That's what I did. I have a bunch of level three canvases in this size, but sometimes the challenge is getting those edges covered. You know, with a level one canvas, if you can get it to the corners, you can probably cover the edge. When you get a level three canvas in the mix, you have to figure that you're probably adding another almost two inches to your substrate size to get it to go to the corners and go over the edge. That takes a little bit of practice. And um, I mean, this isn't perfectly covered. So when I clean up the edges, I will catch it. But it's great for practice. I also noticed the corners of the Blick canvases are not so jagged as the Artist Loft ones. So I like it. Um, if I were to hang it up, I think I would hang it 
either this side up or like this, where this, the composition is great right here. <laughs> Obviously not great right there, but it's kind of great right here. So it kind of looks intentionally, you know, 3D-ish. So let me pause you. I'll bring you down for a close-up. All right, everybody, here is our close-up coming in here. So you can see what I mean. I feel like this is hyper zooming. Hold on. Like chill out there. All right. You can see what I mean about how it kind of blows down into the pillow. It worked out in this one, but that's been one of my contentions. So here's where I tried to do the the swirlies. <laughs> it's not bad. First time I've actually seen them really kind of turn out in a painting. I love the way the black kind of outlines the cell activator. I love that. This corner is my favorite, obviously. Look at that shine. Woo -hoo. A Payne's Gray was a great contrast color because it goes with the color palette for sure, um, but it adds a pop of dark. And here's the other part that didn't blow out as well, but if I can uh, get my embellishing down, I think that's a good way to deal with that. I really like this part. It's just a lot of fun action there. And uh, here is the bottom part where the lacing is just really beautiful. They, they kind of almost look like northern lights, the way the colors kind of play together. So that's really cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, there's a 20% off promo code for anything on the Color Art website in the description box below. Uh, so you can get your brand new Jelly Bean set. It's uh, Mandy1120. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.